Hello? Today we are distributed all over the world, but we are in consensus. Glad to speak here, even virtually. My name is Stanislav Bogitarev, and I am the CIO and co-founder of Neo St. Petersburg Computer Center. We are a research and development team created two years ago to work on complex problems in the area of distributed systems and data storage. With support from Neo Global Development, we work on Neo Core and Ecosystem project as a part of international community of developers. In today's presentation, I will talk about our main projects, Neo FS, the decentralized object storage system integrated with Neo Blockchain, and Neo Go, a full Neo Node implementation with SDK for Go programming language. As our global goal, with support from NGD, we seek to extend the Neo technology stack to enable true decentralization for storage and computational needs of the future economy. First, I would like to talk about the Neo Go project. The Neo developers community is diverse from a programming language choice point of view. We really want to give the developed experience in Neo to any programming language community. Following that paradigm, our team has decided to support and develop an open source Neo Go project. It is a full Neo node and Neo VM implementation in Go programming language, which is fully compatible with .NET reference implementation and supports all Neo 3.0 features. Neo Go nodes are stably running in Neo mainnet together with .NET based nodes, and one Neo Go based consensus node is issuing blocks in Neo testnet. Neo Go has an SDK with Go compiler to Neo VM bytecode. It is compatible with Neo Blockchain Toolkit plugin for Visual Studio Code developed by NGD Seattle. Developers can write smart contracts and D apps in Visual Studio Code with interactive debugger not only using C Sharp but also using Go. We offer Go developers to integrate backend software of their D apps and centralized applications with Neo Blockchain using SDK libraries and event subscription channels through WebSockets and RPC, as we do it in NeoFS. In NeoFS, our team is using Neo Blockchain and NeoGo in particular as a source of truth and synchronization of nodes in the NeoFS storage network. Without reinventing the wheel, we can use Neo as a reliable foundation having the proven implementation of all required distributed systems and technologies. That brings us to the next point. Let me tell you what NeoFS is for and why we have spent two years on its development and believe in its future. NeoFS is a decentralized distributed object storage integrated with Neo blockchain. Users can reliably store object data in NeoFS network and have a transparent data placement process due to decentralized architecture and flexible storage policies of NeoFS. Under the users, we mean both individuals and enterprises. Each NeoFS node is responsible for executing the storage policies that the user selects for geographic allocation, reliability level, number of disks, number of nodes, capacity, etc. Thus, NeoFS gives full control over data to the users, taking into account legislation like GDPR or California's Consumer Privacy Act. The users can define relevant policies to avoid legal issues. All storage nodes services fees are paid in gas. We believe it's good for ecosystem and more convenient for users. They may own storage nodes and receive gas, but at the same time spend that gas on paying for storage of their data on other NeoFS nodes in the network. NeoFS has an incentive model and pricing which follows free market principles. Each node declares how much it wants to receive as a reward for data storage services. Data placement function considers the declared price and prefers nodes with better price. However, other parameters defined by the user and proven by new ID as a storage policy leave opportunities for nodes that want higher price but provide better or unique services to still get into the data placement function results. In our opinion, a data storage system has to be trustworthy in terms of its code being public and open for verification. Therefore, NeoFS is free Libre open source software and will always be it. To achieve almost infinite scalability without losing users' control over data, we had to introduce some unique technical decisions. Unlike other distributed storage systems, we do not use DHT approach with random data placement. Instead, we combine Neo Blockchain's unique block finality feature with rendezvous hashing over a multigraph containing information about storage network to exactly calculate data locations without storing metadata for each object or requesting from other nodes. 
This becomes possible because NewFS separates node roles into storage nodes, taking care of the data, and in-ring nodes, taking care of the network itself and maintaining network information data structures. But in such a large system, we also need to make sure data is not corrupted or lost. Here, we introduce interactive zero-knowledge proof protocol based on homomorphic caching for data validation between all nodes asynchronously. Because of homomorphic cryptography properties, it's cheaper for nodes to follow data storage rules rather than trying to cheat the system. So, by mixing mathematical guarantees and economical incentives, we are able to build a reliable, global-scale storage system. Now, let's see how we can get the data from NeoFS. The most exciting feature of NeoFS is that it is accessible directly from NeoVM on the smart contract code level. Applications are not limited to on-chain storage and can manipulate large amounts of data without paying a prohibitive price. NeoFS has native gRPC API and popular protocol gates such as S3, HTTP Fuse and SFTP, allowing developers to easily integrate their applications without rewriting their code. Using this set of features, it's possible, for example, to have dApp smart contract to manage monetary assets and data access permissions on NeoFS and let users access the data using a regular web browser or mobile application. To demonstrate how NeoFS and Neo can power modern web applications, we have developed a service called NeoFS.send, working in public NeoFS testnet as a technology demonstration. It allows uploading a file to NeoFS using a web application interface and setting an expiration period for it. Right after being stored in NeoFS network, the uploaded content becomes available through NeoFS CDN. It's a fully functional content delivery network with GeoDNS features, TLS encryption and edge caching controlled by smart contract on Neo blockchain. Now other people can use a regular web browser to download this file from the nearest and fastest HTTP gate. It will be cached there so that the next person will get it almost instantly. This tag can be reused almost as is in most of today's web projects. In the long term, we hope to add more ecosystem components that will allow developing truly decentralized applications, solving almost any problems that are nowadays solved with a centralized approach. Our next target is decentralized serverless computing. While NeoFS allows offloading heavy data, Lambda service will allow offloading heavy computations. Then, together with NeoFS used as a storage, it will become a foundation for a decentralized database and combined this would cover almost all needs of modern applications on their way to becoming decentralized. That's what we call the true cloud platform for the real economy, that inevitably will make the economy smart. Thank you for your attention. Please visit our web resources for technical details and note that most of them are hosted on NeoFS. And now let me introduce our next speaker. Please welcome Head of Neo Global Development, Seattle, John Devadas.